Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create GitHub issues from Jira software. I want that whenever a new issue is created in my Jira software, automatically when the response is received through webhook, a new issue should be created in my GitHub. So how we are going to do this process effortlessly and automatically? For that we will have to integrate both these applications. And because they do not have any kind of native integration between them, therefore we are going to use an automation and integration software, Pabli Connect, to do the same. So what we are going to do, we have Jira software in our trigger and GitHub in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new issue will be created in Jira software, automatically by using the response of that issue, a new issue will also be created and added in GitHub. So to learn the full process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn that whenever a new issue is raised in Jira software, automatically by using the details of that issue, a new issue will be created in GitHub. Okay. So let's learn this process step by step. First of all, in order to create the workflow, we will have to come on our browser and then we have to search for pabli.com slash connect. Here we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free to create your free new account in just two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this amazing software now because i'm already an existing user therefore i'm clicking on sign in and here after coming on all app section we can find all the products offered by pabli now to create this workflow we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now and as we do that we will come on the dashboard of pabli connect here we can find all the workflows which we create and to create a new workflow we will have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner so let's click on it and now a dialog box is appeared in front of us which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow so let's give it a random name as create github issues from jira software now after giving the name to this workflow let's click on create and here we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is a trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the basic principles or the basic concepts on which the entire workflow of this automation runs. Here we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards the trigger and the trigger initiates the workflow. That means for example, that means for example in this workflow we are taking Jira software in our trigger and we want that whenever a new issue is raised or whenever a new issue is created in Jira software, automatically in response to that, a new issue should also be created in GitHub. So this is our action. Okay. Okay. So now let's start creating this workflow. First of all, we have to select our trigger application in which we are going to take Jira software. So we will select this Jira software and here in the trigger event, we have to select configure webhooks. And as we do that, we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions which we have to follow in order to connect our Jira account with Pabli Connect. So I will tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. First of all, let's copy this URL from here. And this URL will act as a bridge in order to connect Jira with Pabli Connect. Okay, so we will be using this URL for building the connection. So after copying this URL, I will take you to my Jira account. So this is the account and now what we are supposed to do from the right corner we have to go on the settings tab and under that we have to select systems. So after coming on systems we have to scroll and search for webhooks. So we will select webhooks and after coming on it we have to click on this create a webhook button in order to create and set up a new webhook. Okay so let's give the name to this webhook. So I am giving I am giving the name as new webhook for github okay and the status of this webhook should be enabled and now here we have to paste the url which we have copied from pabli connect so we will paste it over here and the next is we have to give the descriptions but it is optional so we can also ignore it for now now the next is now the next is we have to choose the issue on the happening of which the response should be sent to Pabli Connect. Okay, so here in the issue we have to select created because we want that whenever a new issue is created in Jira software, then the webhook response should be captured in Pabli Connect. Okay, so we have selected this created. Now the next is issue related events and here it is written you can specify a JQL query to send only events triggered by matching issues. That means if we want to specify the issues on the happening of which the webhook response should be captured in Pebbly Connect, then we have to specify them here. Okay. So I want that only the issues which occurs in demo service project should be captured in Pebbly Connect. Okay. So we have to specify this particular project for that. We will have to use this format. So we will copy it from here. 
okay so i've copied it and we will paste it over here first of all and instead of this motor head i am going to type the project name which i want to use that is demo service project okay so we have to exactly type this particular spelling so i am going to type as demo service project done and we have to use inverted commas to name the project and you can find that the cross has converted into a tick mark okay that means the project name is in correct format now the issue type so there are several types of issues in every project so here we have to specify the type of the issue which when occurs then the response should be captured in pably connect okay so let me show you the types of issues for this we have to open this particular project in a new tab and after coming on it we will have to click on create to create a new issue and here we can find the type of issue so we will open it and from the drop down we can find that there are four types of issues here so i want to use the type as service request so we have to type this service request there in the issue type okay so instead of this bug i will type service request okay and again we will use the inverted commas and here we can find that the cross has turned into a tick mark okay so here we have specified the project and the issue type which we want that whenever the issue will be created in this particular project and this particular type then the response should be captured in pably connect okay so here we have done this now we will simply click on create okay to set up this webhook and we can find that our new webhook which is named as new webhook for github has been successfully created now let's go back to public connect and here it is showing waiting for the webhook response that means now we have to do a test submission by creating a new issue in our jira software okay so that the response should be captured here in public connect so let us do that by going again on our jira software and here after coming on it we have to click on this create button in order to create a new issue so the project and the issue types are already selected and now we have to give the subject of this issue so i am going to use new test issue so i am just giving a random subject okay and now we have to give the description of the issue so i am giving the description and issue is raised because because the support email is not working so this is the description just a random description okay now let's click on create so our issue is raised and it is created now let's go back to public connect and here it is showing and here we can find that the response is received with the details of the issue which we have created in jira now what we are supposed to do we have to choose our action application because we want that by using the details of the issue which is recently received from jira software we want to create an issue in github also okay and that too automatically for that we will have to select our action application as github let's select it and in our action event we will simply select create an issue now click on connect and here from the given options we have to select add new connection and then we have to select connect with github and now here pably connect is asking us for accessing our github account so let's click on authorize pably and you can see that my github account is automatically and very easily connected with public connect why because i was already logged into my github account okay so you also have to keep in mind always to log into your github account before making up a connection with public connect because it makes the connection easier and simple okay now let's move on so some of the details are already selected over here so i do not want to change them you can select your own by selecting it from the drop down okay now the next is the title so we have to give the title of the new issue which we want to raise in github for that we are going to use this particular response that is the response which we have received through jira software now for that we are going to use the process of mapping that is inserting the data from our previous step so why we are doing it because we found that whenever a new issue is raised in jira software and the response is captured in pably connect then automatically these fields should be replaced with the new data and the workflow should not get stuck due to dynamic details okay and if we will map the data we do not have to do anything manually but it will be done automatically at every step so therefore mapping is very important step of this automation now let's map the title name it is very simple step we just have to select our previous step that is jira software and we have to search for the data that is the title name so let's search for the title name by scrolling down and here we can find that the title name is given over here so let's map it new test issue 
and now the next is the body that is the description which we have entered in jira issue okay so we have to give the body simply by mapping we will select it also so this is the description given over here an issue is raised because the support email is not working done and the assignee is already selected okay so now simply click on save and send test request and here we can find that we have received the response along with an id of the issue which is recently created in github now let's go back to github and then we will check for this particular issue there okay so here we are on the dashboard of github now we have to select the repositories from here so because i have used this particular repo so we will select it and under that from the top we have to select issues okay so here we can find that a new issue which is named as new test issue is recently created over here and it is labeled as bug okay so that means our workflow is perfectly successful now let's go back to pabli connect and summarize what we have done in this workflow so here we have taken very simple just two steps trigger and action in trigger we have taken jira software and in action we have taken github and we have connected both of them by using pabli connect in such a way that now whenever a new issue will be created in jira software automatically a webhook response will be received for that particular issue in pabli connect and and by using that response automatically an issue will be created in github okay so this was the full workflow and these were the steps which we have to follow in order to integrate both these applications and this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can easily integrate many other applications by using pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can easily email us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you are having any pricing related issue with pabli connect you can easily reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation